All right, welcome back to another installment of Desarian's Return to Asheron Skull. I'm Desarian. Um, appreciate all you guys stepping in and commenting and watching the videos. It's been great. Uh, I really didn't expect people to watch this, but I'm glad everybody's enjoyed enjoying the nostalgia of it. Uh, since last time, uh, I've sold a lot of stuff. I have increased a lot of my base stats. Uh, you know, I've, I've increased my health and my stamina and my mana directly. You know, that way uh, maybe I won't die from two hits of a lich um, like I did in my last video. Um, increased some of my life in war. I had a lot of uh, experience to distribute around here. So I'm up to 153. Well, no, that's buffed. So I'm up to 140 base life in war which is pretty good. And then I got to looking down through here and I notice I have eight points, eight skill points to, to uh, train up something. So this is usually pretty big. Uh, I've barely even had a reason to take something else right now. I mean, I kind of wish mana conversion was up to uh, specialized here where it was working better. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I need item and creature before I need that. Um, and the question is, do I want to take item or do I want to take creature? If I take item, that would give me the ability to buff uh, my robe, um, make things a lot more powerful in that department so I could have a lot more base armor. Um, I'd also get the portal spells, but for what I'm doing right now, I'm not really needing those portal spells because um, I'm just going back and forth between the facility and... I'm probably going to be there to level 50 anyway, so I don't think item is really what I want. I think I'm going to take creature first, which used to be very controversial, but I don't think it is anymore. If I take creature, it's going to give me allow, allow me to buff a lot of my stats, and it's going to allow me to buff a lot of my abilities. So it'll actually mean that I'll be able to buff myself up faster and better, and I'll have higher skills than I'll be able to get with that, uh, the trainer down there in the facility because he doesn't buff a whole bunch. So, you know, I'll be able to buff my life magic, my war magic, my mana conversion. I'll be able to buff all of that stuff, make bigger, better, badder Desarian. So, um, I think I just, just by talking about it there, I've kind of sold myself on it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my creature magic. Are you sure? Yes. Take creature. You can see just by taking it I should have, I have 78 base without even doing anything. So let's go ahead and buff that up here as much as I can with, I only got like maybe 10,000 experience points to put into it. So I buffed it up to base almost 90, which isn't much. So my creature enchantment, enchantment is 101 right now with a few little buffs that I have on. Uh, that's like focus two and strength two, so I should be able to focus, be able to cast those by themselves. Um, I'm gonna go get a set of level two spells and a set of level three spells for creature magic, and um, just put those in my spell book. Uh, put them on a spell bar somewhere, and then we'll play with what we can actually do with those numbers. So I'll be right back after I do that. Uh, back for a second. I just I, I moved myself to Qualabar so because I'm familiar with it, but it is not it does not have the spell guys that I need. Uh, so I'm going to go over here. This is the Town Portal Network. This is new since the last time I've been here, and this is kind of like the old uh, subway, um, except that it's much better laid out, and you don't have to like glitch a door to get down or have somebody with lock picking. And you can see that we have um, all the different areas. Uh, based on race. So here's the Garandine portals. Um, so if we go in here, we have all the Garandine cities like Yarik, Alarkes, so all of the different ones, even Kayabai, Kayabai, I don't know what that one, okay. <laughs> Zakel, all of these different portals. So these are all the Garandine port portal, portals and then there's Alluvian and then show portals. So quick easy way to get around and we have one over here that's called the annex and the annex has a 
to the marketplace, which there is still a marketplace um, where people have a few bots who are selling things. Not many. I, I went in there once and uh, there wasn't any buffing bots around. Like I said, I think those have moved to Holtberg, but for whatever reason, I think that's because where a lot of uh, allegiances hang out. We also have a facility hub portal here, so that's pretty handy. Um, what is back here? I've forgotten already. Blue Spire, Green Spire. Those are all the old starting areas. Uh, I don't even know what that one is. Medisa, yeah. Slyun. Uh, probably not pronouncing a lot of these right. Timaru. So that's one of the new idols from uh, Thrones of Destiny. East Watch. I used to like East Watch. So here's a lot of different other, I guess, ones that don't fall into a specific race they put in here. Then back to cool, to call. Uh, let's watch Red Spire. Cool. That is pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to go to a town I know. Uh, I'm going to go to Cragstone, which is an alluvian place. So we'll go over to Cragstone and that way, because I know where the, the magic sellers are there very easily. There's Cragstone. Another one of my favorite cities. I could have just as easily made my life stone there, but I think uh, Qualabar is a little more compact. And so and every town has those uh, the portal to the town network. So very convenient. Let me run over here and get my spells like I originally intended. All right, I've got me a small set of creature magic spells. Um, I, my currently running buffs are all level two, so there's this experiment should work to see what's actually going on. The way I would normally start this is I, I've set up my bar here in kind of a tiered approach. So I'm going to start with some mana conversion mastery, which will help, you know, as it says help me convert mana better in focus willpower and creature magic those are all my level two spells so they're going to tear me up hopefully to level three creature magic spells and once i can cast level three then they'll tear me up to where i can really buff um, myself at least in the level fours my big problem here is going to be going is is going to be managing my bars i just don't know if i had the level for that or not yet and uh I, I want to do an actual experiment here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to cast the necessary components. What am I missing? Oh, I know what I'm missing. I need to buy, you can see here, these are foci. And right now I just have strife and verdancity. So this means I can cast life spells and I can cast, cast war spells. I need to go to... I th I think this guy will sell one. Um, yes, he'll sell me a creature creature magic one. So go ahead and do that. Now this basically gives me the components I need to cast creature magic spells. So why don't we go back to what we were doing here? And all right, mana conversion, focus two, willpower two, creature two. So we didn't use much magic to do that. We only used maybe twenty. That's that's really good. So let's tear up into our level three now and see how good those those cast. Ah, that one casts well. So, and that was creature magic level three. So let's see where it's buffed at. One twenty-two. And if I go over to my chart on the wiki, we can see I'm sitting between eighty and eighty-five percent, um, which isn't very high. I mean that's. That's pretty good success rate, but that's a lot of fizzle still. So uh, we'll see if we can get through this whole set of Creature Magic 3 spells. Focus 3. Willpower 3. Life Magic Mastery. War Magic Mastery 3. Endurance. Quickness. And I've run out of mana here, so I'm going to do some conversion, see how that works. And I didn't do it soon enough because I do not have enough magic to cast it. Uh, let's see. There we go. Top it off. Now I'll try to do some. 
you know what, I don't even have my spells to revitalize myself. There should be a spell that gives me stamina back. Um, just a second, I'm going to look that up, so I'll be right back. Alright, I found um, revitalize. Oh, that's other. That's not self. Yeah, revitalize self too. Um, let's go over here, pick it out of our book. Now, I'm using my tab number five as my buff, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that on there. And since I'm not going to be fighting with this, I'm going to take off my drains here, because that's just going to confuse me more. Uh, but my stamina is already restored back, so let's see, where was I at? Um, did I get endurance, quickness, sprint, and strength, and let's do this, and then do some. Yeah, see. That gave me some stamina back. See, my mana conversion is not doing too great, but it's enough to actually work it a little bit. And I'll get a level 3 spell in there, so maybe I'll get a little better. So, you can see now I've got, I'm into my level 3 creature enchantment spells. Which means I could probably go ahead and... Let's see, where does that put me with my life and war? Especially my life. It puts my life magic at 175 buffed, which is 100% chance of level 3 spells, 85% chance of level 4 spells. So which means I could probably cast my level 4 uh, buffs, my, my armor, blade protection and all of that. But that's what that enchanter does down below, so I'm not going to worry about those right now. I don't want to waste mana and time on buffing those right now. Whenever I can start casting level 5s, which should be pretty soon because I'm going to be able to uh, after we complete the next dungeon, then I should be able to. So, um, yeah. I, so, so we'll leave it at that for now. So I'm well into my level threes uh, for creature magic. Oh, and you can see I've got strength and sprint and quickness on me, so I'm moving much, much faster now. That's 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 a, that's great. All right, and I've got life and war magic on me now, so I should be really doing much better in the dungeons. Um, speaking of, my next dungeon is going to be Glendowin Dungeon. I know I said I was going to do that for this episode, but I'm trying to keep these a little shorter. I don't want to have to do like I did last time where I was fast forwarding through a lot of stuff. That was, it was painful to do editing wise too, so I don't want to have to do that, um, except unless I do it intentionally. Um, so I'm going to leave this one here and then we'll do the next one being Glendon Wedge Dungeon. Um, looking around Cragstone here, it's been a long while, out of the wind windmill. Over there and over there, pretty cool. Alright, so short episode, uh, it was, I, it, it turned out to be about spells, I didn't know we were going to do that, that's just the way it works out. So I will, uh, this will be easy to edit and I'll upload it and get started on the next one. Till then, bye.